This is Seth Juarez from DevExpress. I wanted to show you a couple of new features that we've added to version 2010, volume 2. We've added improved support for enums and complex types in the end user report designer. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Here in the end user report designer, we have an extra report that's been bound to an XPO collection of person's objects. Notice I've added two special parameters to this report. This particular parameter is now bound to a different type, one that I've added called person's gender. Notice that the values that this particular type can take come directly from an enum. The same thing can be said about a person's pay. Notice also that we have a person pay type and then we also have a number of selections that are drawn directly from the enum. Let me show you how this works. Notice that in the person object that inherits from XPO and the XPO object we have gender and pay which are properties that are bound to these enums. Right? In order to get these to show up in the end user report designer we create a special report design extension by inheriting from the report design extension and adding parameter types to the dictionary. Once that's done all we need to do is register the extensions and associate the report with particular extensions. Once that's done, you'll be able to see the new enum values in the parameters inside of the end user report designer. Okay, I've made a couple of corrections in order to add a special new complex type for our parameters. Notice that gender is still the same as before. But for pay, we now have the ability to do this kind of selection. Notice that this selection is based upon a complex object. These parameters are also available in the filter string. When I hit plus and select gender, notice that you can compare it with a value or another field's value or you can compare it to the actual parameter value because gender is of type gender for the enum. Let me add another one for pay. Notice that this is also available because the pay object is a little bit different. Let me show you. Notice that the person object now has a pay grade that is a different object that has these extra properties. In order to make this work, we have to create a new person report extension. Now, this might look like a lot, but let me explain each thing. These are the pay grades that are going to be shown in the lookup editor. This is the editable data type that's available in this report design extension. Now, we're going to create a repository item that has a repository item lookup edit that contains the columns that we just saw. And then we've overridden these methods, create repository item and create repository item with these parameters in order to get the right repository item. We've added the parameter types to the dictionary as before. And this is here to enable serialization of the parameter. Notice that once we have that, we are able to do this. Once again, thanks for watching and thank you for choosing DevExpress.